53 year old woman with type 2 diabetes mellitus is admitted for evaluation of recurrent episodes of nausea, tremors, and excessive sweating. She works as a nurse and reports self measured blood glucose levels below 50 on several occasions. Her family history is positive for borderline personality disorder. The only medication listed in her history is metformin. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial action by the physician? Now over here we have report the patient to her employer. This is wrong. This you cannot do this. This is a violation of HIPAA. So you can't you can't do A. A is out. Ask the patient if she is taking any medications other than metformin. This could be a likely option. So we'll keep this in mind. C. Search the patient's belongings for insulin. This only happens in India. In the US, if you do this, you will lose your medical license. Measure glycated hemoglobin concentration. Um, this does not make any sense. And uh, in the person who's having recurrent episodes of hypoglycemia, usually when we talk about measuring glycated hemoglobin concentration, we look for we look for control of um, the the basically the, the three months control. Of the patient's blood sugar levels and usually uh, we do not look at it for any point we don't look at it for hypoglycemia we look at it for the point of view of if the diabetes is under control or not usually something the target in diabetes is um the target in diabetes is less than seven and um, we do not measure glycated hemoglobin for hypoglycemia last one is measure serum c peptide concentration this is also a very lovely option so now we have B and E. Now when we look at the question again, okay, we see her blood glucose levels below 50 on several occasions. She's had recurrent episodes of nausea, tremor, excessive sweating. There's all signs of hypoglycemia. Now just make note over here that this is family history. This is not personal history of borderline personality disorder. Just because someone has a family history of borderline personality disorder, that does not mean that they have other psychiatric disorders or they have the same disorder themselves. You have to always uh, approach each patient objectively and subjectively. Now, the only medication listed in the history is metformin. All right. Which of the following is the most appropriate? Now, the question is what is also important. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial action by the physician? All right. Initial action. That's what's important. So now just picture this in your mind. Picture this that a patient has come to you with type 2 and she's admitted in your in the ward for recurrent episodes of hypoglycemia and blood glucose levels are low you are now you know all of this and this is your your first visit with her probably she's inpatient the first visit with her you've seen her in the morning rounds and you before you even before you even can order any tests what is the first thing that you do all of these things you've got, all of these things in the question you've got from her history that probably other people have taken or probably that she's given herself. You have not spoken to her. You come and you, you, you look at her in morning rounds. The first thing that you do is you start talking to a patient, right? You don't start ordering tests immediately. You talk to a patient. You'll be like, okay, so I see that you've had this, this, this. This is suggestive of hypoglycemia. Your blood glucose levels have been low. Um, you obviously don't talk about her family history from borderline personality disorder. She won't understand what that is probably. And then the next thing you say that, oh yeah, I, I see that you're only being taking metformin. And the next logical question is, since she's had hypoglycemia, the next logical question that you ask her is, oh, have you been taking something else other than metformin? Have you been taking something else other than metformin? I mean, this is how a conversation goes. I know that, that these questions... Um, sometimes you're looking at this from a doctor and things like that, but sometimes you need to put these questions into perspective in the real world scenario. All right, you need to sit and you need to identify, you need to physically put yourself over there and be like, okay, this is what I'm seeing. I'm going to the ward and I'm going to talk to this patient because she's had hypoglycemia. You're not going to directly order a C peptide concentration. Maybe it's something that you will do later on. Yeah, if she says, yeah, I'm only taking metformin, I'm not taking anything else. And then you still feel that oh she's she's probably lying about it. She doesn't seem so so sure about it. Uh, then there's probably some reason for you to order it. But after you speak to her, all right. After you speak to her, you don't directly put that. So since the question is most appropriate initial action, your next initial step will be just ask the patient. All patients are not lying. 
that's what you need to understand that when you when you see a patient when you see a patient and you think that something's odd do not do not just take it for granted that the patient is lying all right always ask the patient start a conversation do not just assume that the patient is lying and then just measure serum c peptide uh, without having a conversation um something that i can tell you about this is that's absolutely wrong is that um, i don't know if you have watched these episodes uh, this this um it's not sitcom basically it's a it's a tv show it's called house md and house md yeah and house md says that all patients lie okay so that's not right all patients don't lie and another thing is if you want to maintain your medical license in the us if you practice medicine like house md you will lose your license very very quickly so do not look at what you and do not uh, do not follow what you see on tv shows because that's not how medicine is practiced in any way all right always speak to the patient talk to the patient yeah you can't always assume it always as a doctor you're supposed to be empathetic you're supposed to be supportive once you once you know a patient is lying to you no matter what you say the way you treat that patient changes all right so don't forget as a doctor you have to be empathetic you have to be supportive you have to be kind you have to be caring the patient if the patient is lying it is a medical condition that they probably you can something like munchausen syndrome or something like that as a doctor you're supposed to understand that it's a medical condition it's not that the patient is malicious all right it's not that the, that she's probably there's probably some some psychiatric illness but um, do not always assume that all patients lie thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more